Hey guys, come tour my small backyard garden with me. So we're gonna start over here on this bed. We have a red cabbage growing. We have some sunflower. I think I'm gonna take the sunflowers out because it's shading my um, cantaloupe. That's cantaloupe growing down there. Um, we have some beans along the side and these are um, Blue Lake bush beans, I'm pretty sure. Um, then we have some kalaloo, kalaloo growing alongside there as well. In this bag right here, this is a five gallon bag. We have two kalaloo growing there. Um, if I take you over here, we have um, a butternut squash growing and if you can look carefully guys there's a little baby butternut squash coming out there i'm not getting too excited yet about that um in this bed right here guys we have a red cabbage and before the red cabbage we had um bok choy and as you can see they're going to seed right now so i already harvest all that i want and i'm letting a few go to seed so yeah they're going to seed i planted some marigold so when i harvest the seed of the bok choy then it's just gonna be marigold and also i had um radish in this bed too these radish um i think i'm gonna let these radish go to seed because i already harvest as much radish, radish as i want so in this bed beside this one this bed we have a kale dinosaur kale going growing there not doing so well but i'm watching it um we have some more bok choy that's going to seed so we're gonna harvest these seeds later on okay and we have a red um a yellow cabbage not yellow cabbage sorry white cabbage not sure what the name of this cabbage but we have a cabbage growing there here we have a zinnias we plant zinnia with more marigold marigold and we have um radish as well those are pretty much gonna go to seeds and yeah so it's just cabbage radish and bok choy and flowers in this bed but it's gonna be cabbage and flowers once i harvest those bok choy seeds and and I have green onion growing there too. So in this bed over here, we have another red cabbage, we have kalaloo, and we have beans, just like what we have over there. And we have, I recently planted that okra there, and flowers, marigold, and um, nasturtium. <laughs> I just rip it off, sorry. Okay, yeah, so right here in this seven gallon bag we have um this is a green zucchini and if you look closely there's a little baby zucchini coming up it's right there okay and in this bag we have white scallop squash and we have a little squash growing i already pollinate this squash and we have some rosemary marigold beside it up here we have a cosmos we have um, a pumpkin or squash so the old point of this in my head it looks really really well and it, i think it was a great idea but now i'm not even sure it's gonna hang and it's gonna go around this something um, i don't know if it's gonna work but in my head it looks really really well okay right here we have um some ginger over here we have dinosaur kale and um turmeric we have an okra growing there i'm going to remove that okra very soon just need to figure out where i'm going to put it in this bed right here is this is my pollinator friendly bed okay so we have sunflowers growing. We have two beautiful sunflowers. We have cosmos. We have cosmos there. We have lingula. We have zinnias. Another zinnia growing down there. We have more cosmos. This is um, 
I don't remember the name. I'm going to put the name on it though. I really don't remember the name. But this is new to my garden. Um, yeah, so this is... And we have nasturtium. How can I forget nasturtium? So we have nasturtium there. And we have more of the things that I don't know the name of. So, yeah. That's, that's my pollinator friendly bed. Over here, we have a white cabbage we have a cabbage growing we have some um my first marigold to flower and you know this bed was going to be honestly this bed was going to be another pollinator friendly bed and i didn't know where to put my cabbage so I stick it in there and likewise i have this um this curly kale didn't know where to put it so i stick it in there too so we have sunflowers, sunflowers, more cosmos. Mint was from last year. It grew back. And we have a lot of uh, marigold. These things grew themselves back. I didn't plant one marigold and everything just starts to grow itself back. Crazy. I have too much marigold right now. I need to get rid of some of them. Okay. In this bag right here, we have some red kalu these recently planted out this bag right here is another seven gallon bag and i have um a white scallop squash and i think i see a little baby squash down there I'm trying to show you but yeah you probably won't see it but there's a, a squash there this bed or pan bucket is carrot this is my carrot bed right there okay all right so let me take you over to the big bed I, I like to call it the big bed because it's big okay so over here we have a pumpkin or a squash growing and my my idea is to get it to grow up on this trellis that's the whole idea I don't know if it's gonna work we have cucumbers growing there cucumbers in the back a cabbage in the back there was cucumber there but then the cucumber died off and then I put a cabbage because I didn't know where to put the cabbage so I put it there um, cucumbers there and there's another squash or pumpkin guys when I was planting these squash I it the idea just seems right and I just put it there but now thinking about it I think it's probably not gonna work out. I planned it in my head because this thing is gonna run. They're gonna take up the whole space and I have five pumpkin in this small backyard garden. So I don't know. Anyway, this is my Kalalu. I'm a Kalalu lover, guys. So I have a bunch of Kalalu around here. This part is just for Kalalu. We have some garlic in between the kalu, some garlic there in between the kalu, some green onions in between the kalu as well, and kalu. Okay, more kalu. On this side though, we have some cabbage, which something just keep eating, taking all the leaves from it. It's 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 stress right now, so it's fighting for its life. This is another cabbage, still fighting that's a cabbage it starts to fall up really really nicely right there is another cabbage that falls starts to fall really nicely behind the cabbage is another pumpkin guys that's what i'm talking about too much pumpkin i don't know if it's gonna Ugh. well whatever this is a pepper this is a um i don't remember this pepper marconi russo i think yes this is a bell pepper this is a pimento bell pepper right here is my jalapeno pepper guys and we have a baby jalapeno down there oh, nice right here is my mixed bell pepper so i don't know what color bell pepper i'm gonna be getting from that here is more kalu guys right here is my scotch bonnet pepper this pepper oh god i didn't know if it was going to survive but then it just starts to do really really well because the 
the pest I don't know what something bug was eating these pepper like crazy but now they start to um, survive right there we have some watermelon kalu marigold watermelon we have about in this spot right there in the corner there we have about mm, three watermelon growing there okay all right let me take you out of the bed here we have a beautiful sunflower i was going to move that sunflower but i decided to let it stay but now i'm not too sure if i want it there but it's so beautiful i don't want to move it here we have a red cabbage we have some green onions there there we have another scotch bonnet pepper and it's doing well the reason why i think i'm gonna move this sunflower is because it's gonna shade the scotch bonnet pepper and i really don't want anything to shade this pepper okay i need it to get sun i need it to grow and produce um this is my kale something just keep eating my kale non-stop um another kalu another kalu guys right here i have another kalu i just love kalu um green onions green onions and we put a cabbage this was a last minute cabbage i did not know where to put it so i stick it there hopefully it grows we have a kalu i have some okra right here guys um these okra are la well something i plant out my okra in about may and then they just they all just died off i don't know what happened all of them i just had i think i had one left um but i planted six and five died so i replanted these and they're growing back nicely the only one that survived is that one right there we have a cantaloupe growing here and then we have some little um, carrots growing down there this is a carrot that um, grew itself back and uh, it overwintered and now it's going to seed so I'm gonna collect seeds from that another scotch bonnet pepper guys these are the best I'm telling you love them all right so oh and I forgot to show you I'm doing a little um, in-ground composting it's right there I love composting guys and this is the view of the big bed okay let me take you over to here where I have all the bags now so this is my sunflowers I planted a bunch of seed and I didn't know what to do with them so these pots contain three sunflower each they're not gonna be as big as these ones because there's not a lot of space but there'll be a little sunflower with little sunflower head that's fine these are some um okra i replanted back as i said they all died and i replanted these back recently up here is my thyme it's going to seed but i'm gonna take the flowers off because i really don't want it to go to seed yet a beautiful cabbage over there starts to fall and we have um rosemary and i just plant that um okra in there we have an orange bell pepper right here doing well it's flowering last year i planted orange bell pepper and i only got one bell pepper from it this year it looks like i'm probably gonna get a little bit more than one and i i just plant some carrots in between the peppers here i have my herbs this is um, sage and oregano planted in this bag this is my culinary basil guys beautiful look at those big beautiful leaves so this is culinary basil that's a strawberry that i replanted Oh, I forgot to tell you guys I have a bunch of strawberries over on the big bed here. Let me just take you back over there just to show you. So see, I have a bunch of strawberries in here. But I already harvested out all these strawberries. So, yeah. So this was my originally my strawberry bed. 
and then I kind of just start putting other stuff in there so yeah let's go back here is my another dinosaur kale it's seen bet um I don't know I think it's it's something's just keep eating eating on the leaves this is um, a dinosaur kale that go to seed I'm letting it seed right here guys is my lettuce bed so I have lettuce over here this is the great lake ed lettuce I'm pretty sure that's what it's called don't quote me on it I put a cabbage in this bed because whenever I uh, harvest these lettuce which I'm gonna harvest them very soon because the, um, the sun is coming out and they're not gonna do well in the sun so I'm gonna harvest these very soon I stick a cabbage because once I harvest I'll have the space to grow the cabbage and I stick a kale because I did not know where to put that kale same here it's the same thing going on over here this chive it grew itself back which I love it it's so big and beautiful mint grew itself back because this bed was a herb bed last year I have mint I have sage everything in this bed thyme everything you can think of I have in this bed and this year I decided to put some lettuce I stick a kale because I did not know where to put it again and I have a cabbage so once I harvest these lettuce the cabbage will be the cabbage and the kale will be the only thing in this bed over here the same thing I have romaine lettuce this time I have some romaine lettuce growing in this bag and I stick a cabbage uh, red cabbage is in this bag too didn't know where to put it so I stick it there <laughs> And I have some radish. I believe these gonna go to seed. And I have a kale around there. Again, didn't know where to put it, so I put it there. <laughs> Down here, guys, I have radish, which I'm going to harvest very soon. As you can see, I have radish on there. Look, there's a little baby radish. Well, not baby, they're, they're big radish. I'm gonna harvest these radish very soon and then the bag is gonna be free for my color leaves. In this bed or our bag, I have um, what's these romaine lettuce. I'm gonna harvest these just now. I'm gonna put them in some juice, and once I do that, then I'm gonna have this cabbage here growing in this bag or bin. I have um, some green onions. I have some green onions guys so it's gonna be cabbage and green onion in this bag okay over here we have this poblano pepper which is doing good it's fruiting it's beautiful here we have some chili peppers and they're putting on fruits I am pretty sure we have little chilies on them too there you go and another chili pepper as well and these are some pimento pepper bell peppers I love these these are very good I love these um, let's take you over here now over here we have a kale which is not doing well it's just saying oh what the hell so we have kale there for some reason my kale are not doing well in the bag last year I plant kale in the bed over there and let me tell you my kale was big and beautiful and and tall and just but they're not doing so well in the bag so now I know next year I'll put some kale back into the beds this is my um, celery my celery growing here with a green onion this right here is a yellow zucchini mm, not doing so well as well kale curly kale curly kale as well because I love to do a nice kale juice that's why I plant so much kale but they're not doing well in the bag honestly yeah so here we have a yellow zucchini guys and this zucchini is producing like crazy look down there look how much I just pollinate this one I think two days ago 
and this one is gonna be ready to pollinate very soon and then I have like <laughs> about six little baby ones down there coming up so we're gonna make sure we nurture this plant feed it as much as possible okay and here we have a green zucchini and we have a zucchini there we we set to pollinate that zucchini as well and we have a few more baby zucchinis coming up we have some more celery with green onions and a kalu here we have this is the 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 best kale right now this is the kale that's doing the best at the moment so here we have some curly kale right there over here we have cucumber these are market more cucumbers um, they're put it on little baby cucumbers I recently pollinate those cucumbers um, yeah these two right here don't look as good as this one so we're just watching them okay right here is the star of the show guys right here is my potatoes first year planting potatoes and I absolutely impressed how these potatoes are growing okay so we're gonna harvest potatoes very soon right here alongside here is lettuce these are all romaine lettuce that I'm gonna harvest very soon I'm also gonna give away some yeah so I'm planning on giving away some of these romaine lettuce here we have this is um cucumber and this is the lemon cucumber a cabbage i stick a cabbage here because i don't know where to put a cabbage so i stick it there so i'm hopefully they grow good together this is another set of um, lemon cucumbers this is another potatoes i i was trying out in this bag but it's not working in this bag because these two plants the same time and look where that is anyway we have some radish over here that needs to be harvest and then once i harvest these radishes we're gonna left with our kalu in this pot oh i forgot to show you guys i have a little watermelon right in this bag with this um this is a 10 gallon bag and I only have one cucumber plant in this bag with this watermelon. So one of my cucumber died and I just stick a watermelon in there. Hopefully they do well together. Here we have, um, this is parsley and we have cilantro here that's going to seed. I'm gonna let it go to seed cause I need some cilantro. However, I did plant back a few cilantro down there because I know it was going to go to seed very soon. And I planted some more cilantro right here. Okay, so these are my beans. I harvest about three times or four times from these beans. So they, they are still producing, but I think this is going to be the last of it. I am going to be planting some more beans very soon to take the place of these. And we have a cabbage didn't know where to put cabbage so I stick it there too a beautiful sunflowers and um, zinnias growing in this little pot here we have some more beans these are the sugar daddy beans I'm pretty sure this is my um, purple burgundy I harvest from these and I still have beans to harvest and once I harvest these, I'm going to plant some more because I think these are going to stop producing very soon. Um, this is the bush bean, the blue lake bush bean. Um, yeah, same thing. I'm going to plant some more because I already harvest out as much as I can from that. Purple burgundy, blue lake bush beans. Okay, up here, this is flowers. These are just all cosmos and time alongside there cosmos and time and this is the flowers i don't know the name of and um oh it's in my head but i can't cosmos and i have a, a, another strawberries here I, ju I recently i just planted this um marigold so it's looking a little bit droopy up here this is an experiment cabbage for me. 
honestly i put it there to see what size head i'm going to get from this because it's not a big um big bin it's just one of those hanging container and i put a cabbage here at, to see the size head um but so far it's doing really really well and i have a marigold to you know keep its company and i think oh actually i'm gonna show you the star the real star of the show guys so so far that let me take you back so that is it for my my this is my container area this is the container area where I have all the containers growing in this side and then we have the actual bed over there okay let me show you the star of the show guys one moment guys these are the star of the show these are my you see the um the the scotch bunny pepper that's in the bed that i told you that's something just keep eating the leaves well this is the same plant and you might wonder why this one looks so big and beautiful because this one is my house plant i it don't sleep outside i don't let it sleep outside because i'm planning on keeping this over winter this pepper and keep it inside so it can continue to produce so that's the goal for that this is another scotch bonnet pepper guys and this is producing like crazy so these are the star of the show right now this is another scotch bonnet pepper and like this pepper these peppers stay inside these peppers don't sleep outside and they are producing guys so yeah that is it for the tour of my garden guys if you like this video please remember to subscribe remember to share the video leave a comment and don't forget to just press the like button even if you don't subscribe just press that like button guys if you like what you see but so far this is my small backyard garden let's take you out